and welcome to week 37 of Building My Custom Furniture. This week on the Furniture Update, we invested a hundred whopping dollars on parts for the Furniture, so we'll be able to do some great things with those parts. But let's get into this update without further ado. First, please make sure to smash that like and subscribe button because every subscription, every like, every view helps on the channel because my monetization right now is really not great. I'm not making a good return on investment right now. So everything, all those super chats, don't notice, everything will help. Starting off this week on the Venture Update, you can see my new cinematic camera with the new iPhone I just got. This is, this is insane. This looks absolutely beautiful. I, I'm not sure how much of it, it feels a bit fuzzy, but I just wanted to say that before we got into the updates. Let me know if you guys like it down below in the comments because I want to know if you guys like it like this or do you want to go back to the old way with a regular camera. Now, let's dive into what we've done so far. So, taking a look at this week on the furniture updates, we have this new section right here. This is going to be for the supports for the bottom panels, which I already have built. Kind of like the ones I have here, the supports for them just to slide in. But now I have them on the bottom and they look super good. Now, when I'm designing these things, I made a big mistake. Number one, I did not account for these things going smaller and smaller as I went. And that would be extremely hard to calculate. So I made this amazing contraption. Here it is. This is the contraption I was talking about. This thing will be holding out the panels like so. These things are going to jet out and um, create support for the side panels. And it's going to be great. I do need to add one more of these things along here just for the panel support. Because I think three connection points would be good for a panel that's this long. But basically this thing will just be at an angle on the bottom of the venture facing this direction with the holes for the these Technic pins that hold onto the plates just slide in like so. I've demonstrated it over here, but we're basically using the same technique for the bottom panels. I think every single panel on this ship will be using this technique minus this one because this one can just come off so easily right from the top. I just gotta lift it and plop it and it's all good to go. And I want to be able to access the hanger the most in that ship on the ship so it works out perfectly for that reason now i'm going to try to find some way to attach this contraption that i've made to the bottom of the venture i'll be back with an update in a little bit okay so i actually attached this thing to the venture but there's a problem with it if i line it up straight i don't know why i didn't see this coming if i line it up straight these things don't line up straight with it because I have the wrong angle right here. Oh my goodness, this is so annoying. So I recently just placed another order online and I put in these pieces so I can just put them in like that. Here, I'll show you a little bit better. Like this, and then they'll be straight with the venture. It'll look great. And I'll be actually able to attach the panel. But I attached this to the bottom of the venture and I found out that it didn't work. And I was so frustrated because this took a long time to attach to the bottom. So that was a bit unfortunate. But I'm not going to leave us off with nothing this week. I did get a package from Lifebrick Studios for about $90, $98, somewhere around there. So let's take a look about what I got. Okay, so getting into the package, looks like we got a bunch of 1x6 plates, which is something we desperately need to make more detailed hallways. I haven't made some detailed hallways in a long time, mainly because I ran all these pieces. And I've just been dying to order them, so I'm glad I got some of these. Let's see what else we got. We got some of these connector pieces um, for special details and stuff and some racks for guns. Nice pieces there for that. We got this assassin battle droid. Um, very nice with this hologram that he included for free. Very nice. Uh, let's see what else we got. We also got some 1x2 pieces. We also got some of these 1x3s. Some of these one by ones, a lot of one by ones. I've been needing a bunch of these. I ran out of them. Just a lot of play pieces I've been running out of. But um, yeah, I'm glad to stock these. We got a bunch of one by fours as well. And then we got a bunch of these uh, pieces, these circular discs. What did I get these for? Oh yeah, I got these for the back engines because this is a piece I actually do need for the back. Um, so this is something for the engines, but we're not going to touch that for quite some time. And then we also got some more of these um, connector pieces and things. And then I think that's just about it. Oh yeah, we also got these row pieces for my Lego safe because they're actually way cheap on brick length. They're like 20 cents compared to like 60 cents on uh, 
lego.com so i got some of these as well and then we also got some of these tiles as well just because i need them to fill in these little slots right here in the furniture and i think i'm going to do that first but let's take a look at the last thing i got in this little package here which is this amazing assassin droid battle pack it's not a harvest and sealed but the bags are sealed it's just been opened but like this is the kind of quality of battle pack i care for and this was only $20, which is a great deal on this battle pack. So I figured I'd pick it up. All bags are sealed and it was nicely bubble wrapped by my boy Tyler. So thank you, Tyler, aka Life Freak Studios, for this. You are amazing. P.S. There is his card if you want to check him out. He's giving me some great discounts on this because we're such good buds. So totally check it out. YouTuber and seller Tyler Rosnack. P.S. He is awesome because look, he even put a handle with care fragile pe like thing on there for me. So I don't know if that costs extra, but also thank you, Tyler. All right, so we have started to lay in these tiles, and I do have to say they make the furniture look a lot better. I'm very happy I got all those in on this side and on the other side. So that is looking really good right now. Another thing I also have started to work on is is. Finding out where these holes can go because these um bricks aren't always the easiest to line up, as you guys should know. So I also lined those up and put in these Technic rods in so I'm ready to just slide this panel in whenever I do finish this construction. That was something I also was working on this week on the furniture updates. I am really excited to get in those um pieces that I talked about earlier in this week because actually I think they're coming tomorrow but unfortunately I'm filming this on Sunday the day the venture update actually comes out so they won't probably be coming in till tomorrow which is a little bit unfortunate so we'll have to save that for next week something else I wanted to work on was repairing this thing right here as you can see it's not lining up properly anymore well that's because we lowered this whole system a while ago so the bricks are kind of slanting off it which makes the system not work 100 percent so what i'm going to do is start working on this with the new plates we just got from life fix deals to modify this and make this work properly all right i've fixed up this section to completion we now have tiles on both sides instead of just one and we have it nice strong and supported it looks great just as good as the day I built it because you remember I had to break this thing down because I did lower this by like a whole brick height which means these two sections right here and these two sections right here had to be lowered as well which means I had to modify the insides of this height level well not height level but you know space between it so that it's wider so I am super happy to have this now complete Another thing I worked on as well were these brick heights right here, as you can see. These are brick heights that I've just been trying to make so I have a nice level thing for this. But I don't think it's matching up properly. As you can see, some of those bricks quite aren't touching, as you can see, like down here by the lower levels. I thought it was three bricks, but maybe it's four. So I'm going to experiment with that a little bit. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this week on the venture updates. But to be honest, I haven't gotten a whole lot done on the voucher this week, and I apologize for that. But to be honest, we've gotten so many things accomplished. We got 4K subscribers today. We just hit 4K subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you, guys. We also got a new stop motion out. Two of them, actually. Two, which is huge. I don't upload stop motions a lot. Two stop motions, though, in the past two weeks. I started college up again. Been working on that. But I just haven't had a whole ton of time for this project, and I apologize for that. So... Next week, hopefully, with all these new parts, we'll have some great progress for you guys. But you gotta also think, I got one of the best sets of all time, the Daily Bugle in. And I've been working away on that. This is bag five um, of the Daily Bugle. I've built a total of, like, I don't know, seven bags so far. So I've been working on that a lot because I'm just, I'm so excited to have that in my collection and put that in my city. So, again, I apologize for not having a whole ton done this week. But next week, I do have some great plans, such as installing this bottom, like, panel thing. That should be amazing, and I'm super excited and looking forward to doing that. But that is all for this update. Stay awesome, stay subscribed, and I'll see you all in the next one.